Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbler. Sitting here in my laundry room with my air conditioning unit to do my very first product review. I'm really excited. Uh, I was asked to review a product for air conditioners that I want to share with you today and talk, uh, talk to you about my experience with it. So if you live in a warm weather climate, you know the importance of air conditioning. It's, uh, it's a huge part of our lives, uh, especially for those in really hot places like Florida. And if it's not working right, it can really, really hurt your power bill. As a matter of fact, the, the studies say that air conditioning runs about 25% of our power bill in these warm weather climates. So it's a big deal that your air conditioner works at peak efficiency if possible. So the product uh, that I was asked to review uh, is called Power Boost AC. Okay? Now, uh, full disclosure, I want to make sure that we're all clear on, on things. Uh, they did not pay me to do this review. However, they did give me the kit. The, the kit is a $295 value. So they sent this whole box full of stuff to me and just asked me to try the product and then to share a testimonial uh, of my experience. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the idea is that you, know, you have all this copper tubing that runs through your air conditioner. And over time, it gets little deposits in it. The lubricating oil that runs through the pipes will leave little deposits and it can hurt the efficiency of your unit. I mean, think of it like deposits in your arteries, like plaque deposits in your arteries and the blood can't go through and eventually you have a heart attack. Okay, same sort of idea. So the claim made by this product is that if you inject this material into that cooling system through those pipes, it will dissolve that plaque. It will dissolve those deposits and then it will coat the inside of the pipes and bring your unit back up to factory fresh efficiency. Okay. So th the way they say to check this is you, they give you this little thermometer. They say run your air conditioner way, way down, just as low as you can do as, as it will go and let it run for like 30 minutes, which is what I did. I let mine run all the way down. And then they, then they say, okay, take this little thermometer and hang it from a vent somewhere in your home from one of your registers. And so I did. And they say, leave it there for a while and let it just run as cold as it will get until the temperature stops dropping. It's just not going to get any colder. Okay, great. And then what you do is once you know that that thing is running as cold as it can go, you use this super cool <laughs> um, injecting looking thing to, in, uh, you pour the power boost AC in here and then you hook this to the low pressure side of your AC unit. Now, if you don't, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. The instructions explain it to you. The instructions are actually pretty good and they walk you through step by step. So the idea is that the average homeowner can do this. You don't need to call a technician from some AC company. So they give you all the, all the equipment and you hook it up. Now, the reason I'm shooting this video sitting next to my air conditioner in my laundry room is because your air conditioner almost certainly does not look like mine. Uh, I live out of town a little bit and we're on a well system here. And so out here on the wells, we can actually do water cooled air conditioning units. So you'll see my water pipes here. So I don't have an outside unit. You know, the big box you have outside your house and that turns on when the air conditioner goes, I don't have one of those. Mine is all contained inside this one box right here. However, the cooling part, the compressor and the lines and the refrigerant are all exactly the same. So uh, I just wanted to show you this, that when your uh, when you're doing this at your house, yours will probably look more like this. Okay, so you will have that port. You go out there, you hook this up to the low pressure side, and you start injecting the material into your system. Now, uh, once it's all injected in, they say wait 15 minutes, and then go back and check your thermometer. And it should have dropped between 3 and 9 degrees. Okay, so the idea is that this stuff goes to work right away. It starts cleaning out all those deposits. And once the deposits are gone, your unit will start to cool more efficiently. So you'll see the temperature actually drop at the vents. The idea is, is that if your air conditioner can get the air colder faster, it can, it can run down to the temperature that you want to keep it at in your home faster, which means a unit cuts off quicker, which means you save money on your power bill. Okay, so... That's the logic behind the product. So how did it work for me? Okay, so I, I did the whole thing. I followed the whole process. I injected this into, um, into my unit, and then I waited 15 minutes, 
and I'll be, I'm telling you, my uh, temperature dropped at my register by about five degrees. Okay, so it, it absolutely did what it said it was going to do. This unit is four years old. It was put in um, July in 2014, and it is middle June 2018 right now. Okay, so my unit's not even that old, but it dropped at another five degrees. Okay, so that's, so far, it's doing exactly what it said it would do. Now, I haven't uh, had enough time, I injected this just a week ago, so I haven't had enough time to check my power bills year over year, but I'm going to do that. I will check my power bills for the next several months and I'll compare them to last year. And I'm right here in the middle of the summer here in Florida, so this air, sh air conditioner should be going like crazy. And then I'll do a follow-up and I'll let you know. I mean, I should save some money on my power bill if, the, if it's working like it says it does. And so far, all indications are that it was. So, uh, so, so far, I recommend this product to everyone. Now, a couple things about the actual injection that I want to, to give you, some pointers, some tips that I found. First of all, is that uh, this, this piece of machinery, of course, is key. This is where you measure. You can turn this thing and you, uh, you use it. It's graded right here and it'll tell you exactly how much to put in for your size unit. It tells you how to find the size of your unit. The instructions are, are pretty clear on that, so, so, so no trouble. One thing, one tip that I want to give you is that when you start to put this stuff in, you have to turn this a lot, okay? It's a lot, and the, the instructions say that, but when you do, you're turning this thing a lot, uh, many, many times to get that stuff in. They send you a strap wrench. They give you this, which is great. I mean, it, it works great. You put the strap wrench on, and you it helps you spin this. Okay, that's fine. When you're actually putting it in the unit itself, you're gonna have some pressure against it. So it's not gonna spin just as easily as I'm doing right now. So what I had to do uh, about halfway through was I had to get a pipe wrench, okay? Uh, I, I put a pipe wrench on this end to hold it, and then that allowed me to get the leverage I needed to finish it off and get it all in, okay? So it, it took a little bit more muscle than I thought it was going to, but it wasn't impossible. And the average homeowner, if you have a pipe wrench, and a little know-how, uh, you should be fine. They give you the goggles, they give you everything you need in the instructions uh, with the kit. And so, so far, Power Boost AC is doing what it said it would do. So I will bring you a follow-up, I'll let you know, but I look forward to a lower power bill <laughs> and anything we can do to drop the power bill, make our air conditioners work better, all the better. So, more to come, thanks.